everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to you from my brother's garden and I've got for you eight fragrances that make me feel pretty. These fragrances are pretty, but they make me feel so pretty when I'm wearing them. So let's begin. And I'm gonna start with this one here, which is Oriana from Parfum de Mali. I've got notes of mandarin, grapefruit, bergamot, orange blossom, raspberry, blackcurrant, marshmallow, whipped cream, musk and ambrette. But to me, it starts off a little floral. You definitely get that orange blossom more than I think anything else. And the, but the fruitiness comes in as well. The raspberry, you do notice. So it's got a little tartness in the opening. It's definitely more floral to start with. As you wear it, it becomes very vanillic. So vanilla is not a listed note, but of course, to create notes of marshmallow whipped cream, there's definitely going to be some vanilla in here. And it's a very soft and fluffy and musky marshmallow vanillic dry down. And it is so, so pretty. And for me, this is the perfect date night fragrance. So I would wear this for a more quiet date night. So uh, drinks, a lovely meal, something where you don't want anything that's really big and loud because this is reasonably close to the skin not a skin set but it's not a big projecting fragrance the next one we're going to talk about is Miss Dior this is the current formulation the 2021 version Miss Dior has notes of iris peony lily of the valley apricot rose peach vanilla musk tonka benzoin and sandalwood but I don't think it smells as complex as you might expect from those notes to me it's definitely vanillic in the dry down again but this is fresher a little more it is a little more generic it's definitely more mass appealing you can smell a mixture of florals but I don't really specifically pick out any one floral on its own and I don't really get that iris, but it is a little musky, vanillic and bright florals. The sort of thing, when I first smell it, it does, it does remind me of being in a department store, in the perfume department. It does have that slightly generic feel, but as you wear it, it's not quite so perfumey, if that makes sense. For Miss Dior, I would choose it for lunch with friends. That's the kind of situation that for me is perfect. But it is an all-rounder. It's a very youthful fragrance, so it probably would suit the younger crowd more so than the more mature crowd. And it could really go anywhere with you. It could be that signature scent, actually. But it just makes me feel so pretty and girly when I wear it. The next one we're talking about is Annabelle's Birthday Cake. This is by Marissa Zappas and it has notes of balloons, sugar, lemon, heliotrope, cake, whipped cream, rose petals, tuberose frosting, honeycomb, cocoa pod and tonka. So it is a gourmand but it's also floral. You've got rose and tuberose. So it's kind of a soft floral. It's a muted floral with this sweet undertone. It's definitely musky again. This one lasts really, really well on the skin, but it's a little bit closer to the skin. And I would wear it for a summer fair. I just think it would be lovely walking around a fair where you've already got all the lovely smells and lots of fun going on, like a children's party, which of course is what it's, is the inspiration for it. And I just think it'd be lovely at a summer fair and I feel very, very pretty at a summer fair, probably wearing a pink ribbon in my hair and something a little floaty and colourful that is what I would uh, I would choose for Annabelle's birthday cake but it is so pretty and it makes me feel pretty when I wear it the next one we're talking about is Levant from Ormond Jane notes are tangelo mandarin bergamot rose orange blossom peony jasmine lily of the valley cedar musk and amber and for me 
it's the perfect approachable office scent. So I say that because it's soft, soft, clean and musky. The mixture of florals come out very pretty. It's brightened up by those citruses. It's got a little freshness to start with and it's got lots and lots and lots of musk. So it's very, very clean musk very very soft and then just a hint of woodsiness underneath but very clean woodsiness to me it smells professional but it's softened so it's not hard faced professional it's very much soft and clean and approachable but that cleanliness just lends it a what lends it to wearing a white shirt and uh, and being at work being professional of course we are all professional when we're at work right but it is just so, so pretty at the same time. The next one we're talking about is Frangie Pan from Chantical. And wow, is this ever pretty. It is so, so pretty. It's notes of water hyacinth, violet leaf, orange, Frangie Pani, Ylang Ylang, incense jasmine, vanilla, musk and amber and to me it's called frangipani for a reason or frangipan should i say it's called frangipan for a reason because it really does smell of beautiful frangipani blossoms which are that exotic heady island you know tropical island white sands turquoise sea those beautiful flowers it smells like those but it's softened with the vanilla the other notes really just blend into it. You get a little freshness from the citrus, but not really. I don't think you'd really pick it out as a citrusy fragrance. It's definitely a musky, frangipani, vanillic scent. And to me, this is the epitome of resort life. Like, imagine that you are having a wonderful holiday and this is your evening scent. You're wearing a beautiful, uh, beautiful floaty white dress and you're going out for the evening and you smell of frangipani blossoms and vanilla and you just smell so high-end but so pretty at the same time. So that is frangipan. The next one we're talking about is Honey Amber from Tion Prime Fowl, T-R-N-P. It's an all natural perfume and this to me is so, so beautiful. You've got notes of ylang ylang, benzoin vanilla, labdanum rose, sandalwood and frangipani. And to me, this is a barefoot beach wedding. This could be the fragrance for the bride it's so pretty and so natural of course because it is all natural it's so pretty that it is perfect for a bride on her wedding day but especially outdoors barefoot connecting with nature with the waves just gently crashing in the distance and something very simple and she's wearing a very simple white dress and it's a quiet wedding it's not about showing off it's about true love and the beauty of nature. The frangipani in here is really, really beautiful and mixes, mixes beautifully with the ylang ylang, but there is a tiny little edge to it, almost like you can smell the warm sand, you know? It's got that kind of tiny bit of mineral feel just backing it up you've obviously got beautiful sandalwood in here because it's it's a gorgeous natural sandalwood and it is just amazing i absolutely love it so i would totally recommend that for someone on their wedding day especially if they're going to be on a beautiful white beach with turquoise sea in the background how amazing the next one that i'm talking about is la plu Beaujour de ma vie which is from Guerlain and this one has angelica, pink pepper, citruses, orange blossom, candied almonds, rose, vanilla, white musk and incense and to me this is so so special. I absolutely love it. The perfume
performance is amazing. It's so pretty. It's, it's unbelievably pretty. I mean, you go so far as to say beautiful and really, really mean it. And to me, this is a wedding guest fragrance. It's actually inspired by a French wedding. So it's really, I guess, aimed at a bride and it would be perfect for a bride as well. But for me, I've chosen wedding guest and uh, maybe a very high end, lavish affair i think this would be perfect on any occasion really where you have to dress right up and but dress up in something really pretty so not a black cocktail dress something that's maybe got some organza silk chiffon lace something in pastel colors but definitely perfect for a wedding guest and that is le plus beau jour de ma vie last one that I'm going to talk about is Paris by Yves Saint Laurent and I'm talking about the both versions Eau de Toilette and the Eau de Parfum they are fairly similar I have just got through a bottle of the Eau de Parfum a small bottle just I'm actually wearing it today it, I just used the last of it and um, I find it slightly richer and less fresh than the eau de toilette but they are both really really beautiful and really long lasting so you absolutely can get the eau de toilette and have a full day's wear just to clear that up so paris by yves saint laurent has notes of rose mimosa hyacinth geranium green notes nasturtium orange blossom hawthorn bergamot cassia rose violet lily lime blossom ylang ylang i'm not finished yet jasmine lo lily of the valley Oris root, musk, heliotrope, sandalwood, oak moss, amber and cedar. But do not expect to read that note listing and pick out even half of those notes, even 80% of those notes. I don't think the note listing really tells you what Paris smells like. Paris to me is so chic, just like the city. Takes me to a champagne brunch posh shopping and champagne brunch i say champagne brunch because it's got this sparkle this sparkly element to it that is it's just effervescent and so pretty to me it smells mostly of the rose and the violet with this sweet undertone and then this freshness that comes through and I'm sure all of those other notes add certain elements to it, but but to me it's it's actually really quite smooth, and I just wouldn't expect anyone to really be able to pick out too much more from it than that. But it is this super chic daytime. It makes me think of a person that's really well put together, someone in an independent woman who's earning her own money, paying her own bills going out posh shopping can afford everything she wants and having a fantastic brunch with ladies at lunch that's what Paris is to me and I really love it and it just makes me feel so pretty so that is it thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video let me know what fragrances you have that makes you feel pretty and you don't have to be a woman to wear these fragrances or to comment because anyone can feel pretty if you don't like the word pretty you could exchange it with handsome if you like but please comment let me know and i will see you in another video thank you bye